What is up everyone? Tyler here and I'm back with another video on the 240. We're gonna be cleaning it up a little because the state I got it in was not really up to my standards. <laughs> to start off, I cleared out the rear end. There's an amp still left in here. I'm gonna take all those wires out. There's a little bit more of a wiring right here to start the car, <laughs> which is pretty interesting. And you can see that the wires for the amp and whatever he hooked up goes to the battery right here. Let's talk about this mess we have right here. This car has been apart for days because I still have to address this and solder all those wires up. Let's get into this trunk and get all these wires out. The previous owner said that it's either bolted down or double-sided tape. It was actually held down by self-tappers. Wow. Whoa. Some sound dining came up with this. Whatever. This weather strip needs to go. Rear wires and amp out. Oh my God. This is what we got so far. Got a lot more to go. Looks like to me, the previous owner, John, has already unplugged everything, but left the, all the wires throughout the car, which is a little bit weird. Kind of makes it more convenient for me. Oh my God. That took forever. Hello? Tyler, I need help. What do you mean? This is the last of it. Ooh. <sighs> oh, the 240 is done for today at least. I got all of these wires. It is a uh, Big mess. Now that we got all this clutter, we can focus on what's more important with the spill. I'll come back to you guys tomorrow when we get this thing on the road and I can start dailing it finally. Now there's daylight again. We're gonna get way more progress done today. Time to tackle the wiring and we're gonna get this done. If you're an S chassis owner yourself, you would know that your car might rub around here or there. And a quick and easy solution to this, uh, auto collect storm harness shield. Essentially, this goes right here, pushing the wire harness up and out of the way. On top of that, it protects and seals it, which really comes in handy. Before I do get to installing it, I'm gonna uh, electrical tape the wires that are exposed. I think that should be good. Um, as for, say, this wire, it is torn up pretty bad. I'm actually going to repair it instead of patching up the fix. It's better to be safe than sorry so you don't have to go back and do this once again. One step closer, all right. I electrical taped what I needed to there. Right here, there's these wires that I taped off, but I have a couple more wires, especially this one that's completely disconnected that I need to solder on up. Harness shield time. I think I'm about ready. Here you go. This like putty looking stuff. Lined up with the putty looking stuff. And time to go. Repairing the wires now. What I have is these interesting, oh God, I almost scratched my lens. What I have is these interesting heat shrinks. They have a uh, flex in them so that you can solder up the wires without actually soldering. This will make the process way easier. I have never actually really done this. I, yeah, <laughs> let's do it.
I'm gonna test it now, see if we blow any fuses. If not, then I'm good to drive to work tomorrow. <laughs> the wires that needed to be repaired are heat shrink and soldered together. All I really have to do is electrical tape these individually and then the whole thing, tuck it up. Yeah. Yeah, so peek, peek, peek. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna set them up. They're gonna work at, uh, yo. Headlights are working. Okay. Yay. Dude, that's perfect. With these, it stays without any zip ties. Zip ties are friends, not food. <laughs> Here we have it with me taking my sweet ass time. <laughs> this is tucked way better than before. If you need a reference where to put zip ties, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Right there, right there. This keeps the harness up and out of the way so good. And it allows the harness to flow like a rainbow over. Very good. I want to sit here and appreciate that work right there. Okay, I need to stop sitting around. Let's try not to scratch a bumper this time. This is nerve wracking. It is official guys, I am driving the 240 actually to work <laughs> I wasn't lying about that it is now my daily and to be honest it drives incredible personally I wouldn't go 18s on a s13 but having 18s makes it way more practical and makes me sit a little bit higher at work folding boxes at the moment I successfully made it here with the 240 and now it is gonna be driven every day. Let's hope that it's not gonna be like every other 240 and breaks down, you know. But I came upon a thought today. I was thinking that me buying this car was turning out to be more stressful than I wanted it to be. The only reason being is I think I'm focusing too much on capturing everything and all of that. I'm not appreciating the time that I'm working on it. So, I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, each and every video I have been posting has not satisfied my needs yet. I'll get there though. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna grind it out for you guys. Get these videos up. <laughs> Even if it means me going to work and filming. Feels so good to walk up to this car after work, oh my god.